Hey, it's Dean Seddon here and I'm outside today and I want to talk to you about why I think some of the challenges around cold outreach have kind of got worse over the last 12 months. So for many businesses, they've been relying on cold outreach, whether that by LinkedIn or email, or even cold calls uh, for a long time. And it's proven to be successful in achieving a result, i.e. getting conversations with prospects. But over the last 12 months, it's kind of got more difficult. And there's a few reasons why that's happening. So as technology is advanced, as we've got more platforms and solutions, it's put cold outreach on the radar of more and more businesses. You can be a 16 year old now in your bedroom and you can be doing cold outreach and start a business. So there's a whole load of opportunity that has opened up uh, with technology. But at the same time, we've got prospects who now ha have more outreach coming into their inboxes and coming into their world. Typical decision makers are getting anywhere between three and five sales outreach messages per day. So if we've been using sales outreach, cold sales outreach, we are in the mix of a lot of other people. So the volume of cold outreach has literally gone up. And that naturally has created more noise. So the, the first reason why cold outreach is, is becoming more difficult is because there is more of it. But the second thing that's happened as well is there's more low quality cold outreach. So you'll have had things from people sending from Gmails, offering to sell email lists, offering to sell you things that you don't even offer. So you're getting a lot of irrelevant outreach. So that's adding and exacerbating the situation. We've also got the issue of the uncertainty. So the 2020s are going to be nicknamed the perma crisis decade. In other words, we've rolled from one crisis to another crisis to another crisis. And this is happening, it's happened since 2020. And there's no signs of, of, of that uncertainty going away. And so that's making buyers more indecisive, more uh, reluctant to change, and holding on to things that are certain. We're also seeing, because of that fear of uncertainty, people and decision makers involving more people in the decision making process. So we've got a lot of complexity being added to the sales process because of perma crisis, rolling uncertainty. And then the final one is data. So one of the things the pandemic did is it made our workforce more mobile. And so we are seeing people change jobs more frequently. And so a lot of the data that we've relied on, the, the email databases are just not up to date. You know, a typical email database will sweep through their, through, through their database and clean it up every six to nine months. Some it's even longer. And given the massive shifts in the workforce, that is no longer um, accurate data. So these are all things that are weighing on cold outreach. And we are going to see changes now have to happen to adapt to that. We're going to have to be more inventive. We're going to have to engage buyers in different ways to make our cold outreach more successful in amongst all of that noise. So cold outreach is not going away but it is gonna to have to get smarter if you want it to be effective. And just one note, a lot of people feel like cold outreach is successful and it is successful in delivering an outcome, but it isn't always successful in terms of achieving the best possible result. So companies are gonna be looking at how do we get the best possible result from our efforts? Whereas cold outreach is a little bit of a machine gun um, it is a sledgehammer to crack a nut. So I think some, some companies are start to going to think about this and so we need to be careful that we don't burn through leads trying to crack a nut with a sledgehammer.